I started coding when I was 13, and I was also obsessed with art and design. Today, I'm the founder and CEO of tech company Lightspeed, and also the founder of cultural nonprofit Never Apart. Everybody has these passions when they're a kid, and sometimes they get forgotten. I'm here to tell you that these passions are important. These passions are your secret ingredients. Igniting them can help you make your life complete. All my life, I've been surrounded by passion promoters. My aunt was a famous painter in Africa. My grandmother was a seamstress. My family in India published a daily newspaper. My father was a welder, designer, and DJ. My father, <laughs> my father brought home a Mac when I was a kid. Uh, he, um, I was mystified. The language of icons and imagery mapped to what seemed like impossible technology. Uh, this led me to a career of uh, this led me to a love of designing beautiful user interfaces uh, for for companies across a variety of industries. Um, I moved from Vancouver to Montreal in the early 2000s and uh, continued to build software. But in 2005, I started Lightspeed. We built point of sale software that made running your store as easy as managing an iTunes playlist. Stores were drawn to the software for its beauty and its simplicity. And I built it with the same creative passion that uh, I'd witnessed from my family as a child. Members of my family had always followed their love of culture. 10 years and 35,000 customers later, Lightspeed's rock star team outgrew our offices in Mylex, Montreal. And uh, I had a decision to make about the building. Do I sell it and allow it to become yet more condos? Or do I bring to life a new passion that would allow, um, that that would allow my secret ingredients to come to life? The decision I made was to create cultural nonprofit Never Apart, to bring, that, to bring passion, to bring life to that passion. It's now been eight months since I've had two full-time jobs as both the CEO and founder of both Lightspeed and Never Apart, and I've never been more inspired. I'm here to share my three codes to igniting your secret ingredients. The first point, it, <laughs> instincts lead to ingredients. So it would have been logical, and nobody would have thought an arts degree would have helped me much in life. You know, after all, I had spent all my teenage years developing my craft as a software developer, and so computer science seemed like the obvious path. But uh, you know, after one year of studying uh, you know, computer science, I switched. Uh, I, started, uh, I came back to do art history and religious studies. You know, after studying uh, calculus, sof uh, software, and statistics. I was now being nourished by the philosophers, the poets, the prophets, and the painters. My instincts had drawn me to these things. These were my ingredients. And uh, I knew their value, and I knew that what they were going to bring into my life. You know, I hungered for a way to dive deeper into the arts. You know, my family had always followed their passion for culture, and I wanted to do the same. But uh, you know, exploring in this way didn't mean that I stopped uh, programming. And starting Lightspeed didn't mean that I stopped loving culture. You know, design had always been so key to what we were doing. Um, and uh, I really used uh, uh, my interest to dive deeper into things that, uh, that my studies had brought to me. Like, I went deeper into writing and music production, and also explored the visual arts. And I used all of this while building Lightspeed from the visual design of the software uh, to the psychology of creating intuitive user interfaces to building uh, communications uh, to better connect with customers uh, to designing a workplace where my employees could do the best work of their lives. I gained so much from my degree. My instincts had led me to the ingredients I would need to create Lightspeed, a company infused with culture just as much as code. Second point, ingredients can unleash your dreams. So as much as I had used all of my uh, interests uh, that I learned in university uh, to build Lightspeed, there was still much more I wanted to do with everything I loved about the arts. You know, sometimes uh, 
you come to these decision points. And for me, it was what to do with this building. Um, I could have used, obviously, I could have, it, the simplest thing would have been to sell it, move on. We were moving to a great new office. But, uh, you know, I wanted, to I wanted to think about how I could apply uh, this space to, to my passions. But did it make sense for me to start a passion project when I already had a passionate company of uh, 500 employees in uh, nine cities? You know, could I fulfill the dream of creating a project that purely celebrated my belief in art? The answer was yes. Uh, you know, I started cultural nonprofit uh, Never Apart uh, because I wanted to have the mission of, you know, really creating a new cultural awareness and inspiring people. I wanted to use art, uh, music, film, and dance to celebrate diversity, bring positive change, and unity. And I thought, you know, this is another way for me to, uh, to really bring my secret ingredients to life, to really unleash another dream. And most importantly, to also unleash the secret ingredients of the collaborators, the artistic collaborators of Never Apart. You know, after studying culture all my life and seeing the power of it and how it could move people, um, I took the risk and uh, created a nonprofit that would purely celebrate all forms of expression. I unleashed my dreams, just like my family of passion promoters. Number three, always celebrate your secret mix. Never Apart is a nonprofit that's run like a tech startup. In just eight months, a small team of three people has transformed the 12,000 square foot Lightspeed office into a house of packed art exhibitions, film screenings, um, mute, live music events, and artist talks. And, you know, we've this, this center, which used to house 90 people at Lightspeed that was overflowing, you know, now houses. Um, uh, now houses a 10,000 record uh, vinyl archive, uh, a gallery, uh, sorry, a theater, uh, an outdoor pool and garden for gatherings, and, uh, and multiple art galleries, including some permanent installations like the Moon Room and the Sun Room. And I think it's all already be having a, an impact that is, that is crossing borders. Um, everything from us in inviting a lot of international guests to, to, to Montreal, uh, as well as exporting local talent. And we're really uniting a, real, a, a really big diversity of people and bringing attention to the marginalized, such as the transgendered and intersex communities. Now, none of this would be possible um, without employing everything I'd learned at Lightspeed for 10 years. You know, everything that we do at Never Apart uh, uses the lean methodologies and tools that are used in tech startups, tools such as Slack and WordPress. And uh, you know, all of these things uh, are shared. All this content that we create at Never Apart uh, is shared using these tools um, you know, with the world through our online, uh, monthly online magazine and through social media. So really, Lightspeed, the startup smarts gained from Lightspeed, has really been injected, infused into the DNA of, of, a, no of a nonprofit, Never Apart. And it's given it that entrepreneurial edge to bootstrap the impossible with really limited resources and share it with the world. So these three codes that I've, uh, that I've shared with you, instincts lead you to your ingredients. You know, in ingredients can help you unleash your dreams and to always celebrate your secret mix. These codes are really embodied actually by Lightspeed's own customers, those independent retailers, restaurateurs, and e-commerce merchants uh, that bring so much vitality to their communities. They're also super embodied by the artistic collaborators of Never Apart, you know, whose bold creations speak so bravely to the world. Um, you know, these are people that are, uh, that, are, that are really following their passion. They're living their dream, and they're celebrating their secret mix. At Lightspeed, we have this mural by Brazilian street artist Arlen of a phoenix, unchained, ready to take flight, and ignite. Um, you know, we're born with the flame of our abilities, and we all yearn to live an existence where all of our talents are really being used. It takes us to follow that instinct, that path, 
uh, to fully let our secret ingredients come to life. Uh, and then we can do far more than we ever believed we could. It takes the courage, it takes the, it, it takes the decisions along the way to have the courage to burn super brightly and, in, and, fu in, uh, and then fuel our dreams with passion. So I ask you, are you ready to find your secret ingredients? And are you ready to ignite them? Thank you.